Hello, I'm Shannon from the Dell MD Storage Engineering team and I'm here to assist you in setting up your MD3200i Series Storage Array. First, unpack your system and identify each item that was shipped along with it. Along with your storage array, you will also need Ethernet cables and power cables. Inside the box, you will also find the Getting Started Guide. Please refer to this document for additional setup procedures and information. Assemble the rails and install the system in a rack following the proper safety procedures and rack installation instructions. Now connect the power cables to the system and secure them with the straps provided. You can now power on your system. Please first power on your Ethernet switches, if used, and the expansion enclosures, and then the storage array. Please wait for the LED status light on the array to turn blue before turning on your host server. Before cabling your storage array, you will want to plan the configuration of your iSCSI ports. We will be using the completing the iSCSI worksheet page within the Getting Started Guide to configure these ports today. The default IP addresses for the iSCSI ports are shown in this figure in the Getting Started Guide, and their default subnet is 255.255.255.0. Now that your iSCSI port IP addresses are properly planned, you can cable your storage array. Always use Ethernet cables, CAT5E or above, to attach your management ports and iSCSI host ports to your direct attach server or SAN attach switch, depending on the cabling setup that you choose. Each controller is equipped with a management port that allows you to use out-of-band management for your storage array. Out-of-band management separates the transmission of your data and management signals, so management only happens through the management ports. In-band management means that both your data and management signals are transmitted over the same ports. First, you will need to configure your management ports so that they are on the same subnet as your server for automatic discovery. If you plan to use IPv6, you only need to make sure that your server is IPv6 capable. Now connect the management port on each controller to the network from which you plan to manage this array. There are two ways to cable your iSCSI host ports. To direct attach your storage array to your server, plug the Ethernet cable connected to the first controller of the storage array to the first network interface controller or NIC port on your server. To enable redundancy, the Ethernet cable connected to the second controller should be plugged in to the second NIC port. You can also refer to this figure in the Getting Started Guide. To attach your storage array to your server via the IP Storage Area Network, or IP SAN, plug Ethernet cables from each port of each controller into your iSCSI-capable Ethernet switch, such as the Dell PowerConnect 6248. This ensures that your storage array operates at maximum efficiency and offers full redundancy. Also plug Ethernet cables from the Ethernet ports on your server into your switch. Dell recommends that you use separate switches for your management and iSCSI traffic. You can also refer to this figure in the Getting Started Guide. To install the MD Storage Manager software, please insert the resource media provided with your system into your host server, select Install MD3200i Storage Software, and follow the directions on your screen. During this process, you will be prompted to choose if you would like to start the Modular Disk Configuration Utility, or MDCU, automatically on Startup. Check Yes to this box and click Next. When the installation is complete, please reboot the host server. When your server is rebooted, MDCU will begin automatically. This utility provides a consolidated approach to robustly configure the management ports and iSCSI host ports. As a necessary step in the iSCSI process, MDCU creates sessions for the iSCSI modular disk storage arrays for you. Dell recommends that you always use MDCU to configure iSCSI on each host connected to your array. You will find MDCU in the Dell folder of your program files to run it again in the future. To begin MDCU, click Next. In this demonstration, my system is acting as my host server as well as my management station. For this kind of setup, the first step is to configure the modular disk storage array. Make sure this option is selected and click Next. Choose Automatic for your array discovery and click Next. Your array should appear with the controller IP addresses listed. To verify that it is the correct array, you may select an array and click Blink Array. The blue LED status light on your array will begin to blink. Once your array is selected, click Next. As a best practice, it is recommended that you set a password for your array. To do this, select Set Password and type in your password twice to confirm it, then click Next. 
At this time, select an IP configuration method for your management ports, either IPv4 or IPv6. If you are using a DHCP server, it is recommended that you obtain the configuration automatically. If you are not using a DHCP server to manage your array, select Specify Configuration Manually and click Next. If you choose to manually specify the configuration, you will now set the management port IP addresses. Please refer to the IP addresses you decided on in the iSCSI worksheet and fill these in. Make sure the subnet mask stays the same as the subnet mask of your server. When you are done, click Next. Now you will choose the IP protocol that the iSCSI ports will use. You may either use IPv4 or IPv6 or both. If you would like to set your IP addresses automatically using your DHCP server, please select the Obtain Configuration Automatically option. To manually specify the configuration, select the Specify Configuration Manually option and click Next. Now set each host port IP address. The defaults from the iSCSI worksheet will be automatically filled in. Please fill in the IP addresses you decided on in the worksheet earlier. Like before, make sure the subnet mask stays the same as the subnet mask of your server. When you are done, click Next. When you are finished setting up your IP addresses, it is a best practice that you set up a target CHAP configuration. The Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol, or CHAP, is an optional security protocol used to control access to an iSCSI storage system. This provides added security for your storage configuration. To set one, select CHAP and confirm your CHAP secret in the boxes provided. Now click Next. A summary screen with your iSCSI configuration will appear at this time. Note that you can save the summary on the screen by clicking Save Summary As. Specify a name such as md3200i configuration.txt and a location, then click Save. This can be referred to at a later date for configuration or support related issues. Please review that all the information and IP addresses are correct and click Apply. You will be asked to configure another storage array. If you are finished configuring all of your arrays, select No and click Next. You will now need to configure connectivity for your host's iSCSI initiators. Select Yes and click Next. Then select your array from the list and click Next. Now select the iSCSI ports to which the host initiator should log in and the host address for the initiator. You can use any configured ports in your controllers with either IPv4 or IPv6. Make your decision and click Apply. If you would like to connect the initiator to another array, select Yes and repeat the process. If you are finished, select No and click Next. At this time, you are finished using MDCU. Now start the Modular Disk Storage Manager Client, or MDSM, and choose Automatic for the discovery of storage arrays. Then click Yes. Your array will appear in the Devices tab. You are now ready to manage your storage array. If you have purchased any premium features, now is the time to enable those. Please follow the instructions on the activation cards provided to install the added features. For further setup instructions or to manually manage your arrays, refer to the deployment guide and owner's manual available at support.dell.com manuals. You'll also find more videos, including an MDSM tutorial for the next step in managing your array at del.ly slash PowerVault MD.